Hey everyone, Team UDF here, and welcome back to Minecraft, finally. That's right, we're doing more Minecraft, because if you did not see the Team UDF news episode, I like to have a series where I can talk about nothing, or just talk about random things, and that is what Minecraft series more or less was. We also have the addition of actually building things like this fancy ice palace that I'm going to be showing off today. This is in a private multiplayer server. For now, I will probably be in this multiplayer server, so I already have things, obviously, like this handy jetpack that Evan gifted me. I did make a whole bunch of other stuff myself, though. Alright, so we've got some new items, because we're playing Feed the Beast. Uh, this is a Scepter of Twilight that I want off killing a... Oh, crap, a Twilight Lich in the Twilight Forest. So we have uh, Twilight Forest here. There's just a whole bunch of mods in this Feed the Beast thing, and it's really fun. Uh, so we're going to... I don't know, I guess we'll spend these first couple videos kind of showing off some things in the server. I might explain a couple things that I want to build in the future, and then we will just continue with the series being random discussion. King Slime, uh-oh. Wait a minute, what? What's that all about? Where is this coming from? Am I getting trolled by the oven? Oh, wait, ow, wait, wait. Did something spawn in here? Did a boss spawn? Holy crap, a boss spawned. Well, we're going to take out this boss and see what we can get then. I... okay. My, uh, my Sky Island is kind of built on a slime thingamajig. So, wow. Dang, dude, look at all that XP. I'll explain what that chest is in a bit. Holy crap, we, <laughs> we got an amazing boss spawn. Okay, cool. I want what, what's this? King Slime Battle Sign. Okay. Do we get a... Is it anything? I guess it... Oops. The wrong button. Okay, we got some slime. We got a miniature yellow heart, uh, which restores 20 hearts. You notice we... Obviously don't have 20 hearts, we can kind of increase our max health in these mods. You know, these were things I was looking at earlier. I don't think I'll be able to build them though, so we'll just go ahead and erase that. Alright, you also notice I'm not wearing armor, mainly because I'm lazy. I'll probably construct some iron armor at some point. But hey, we already killed a boss and we're just starting off in the mod. So anyway, this is the Scepter of Twilight that I won off beating a Twilight Lich. This is my... Uh... Elk. <laughs> alchemical bag. It's basically a bag of holding, which this is also a bag of holding. Basically just extra storage, but I have some hidden goodies inside these bags, so we won't look at them on camera now. I guess I apparently have a King Slime battle sign now. We have the Ice Magus Rod. Magus Rod, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. it shoots fire- uh, it shoots fireballs. Yeah, that, that's what they totally are. It shoots snowballs, and is powered by me having snow in my inventory. We'll figure out how to restore that a little easier later on. Let's go ahead and zoom out into third person. Also, we have hats. I'm currently wearing the Blame the Community hat because that just seems very appropriate. Here's my Cloak of Distortion from uh, Zeno's uh, relo re Reliquary. Eh. If I turn it on, I'm invisible. You can see my armor. If I turn it off, here I am. It also has one other nifty ability that I'm not going to waste because it costs an Ender Pearl each time I use it. Basically, if I crouch, and click somewhere, I can actually teleport straight to that location. If you're familiar with the Rod of Discord from Terraria, that's basically what we're using here. And this is one of my favorite items in the whole game, the Emperor's Chalice. It is an endless bucket of water, unless I drink from it, in which case it will trade a small part of my health for a significantly uh, larger portion of my hunger, so I can basically uh, utilize water to not need food, which is good because the food system really has kind of annoyed me over the past couple So anyway, okay. Here is my ice palace that I built. I wanted to kind of start building some Legend of Zelda-esque dungeons. Uh, maybe some adventure dungeons. I don't know if I'll release any of them to actually be played, but that was the idea here. Uh, I don't know if they'll be played outside of the server, rather. So yes, this is the first thing I built was the ice palace. It's also my home. Now, hey, there's currently no intended way to get up here, so... So far, you, we just pretend that you get up here at some point. And, I don't know, the, the intended start would be, like, somewhere over here, maybe. Probably have you come up this way and start over here, so let's begin the tour from this location. First of all, a room that you would not be able to access playing is my room itself, because it is powered by this lovely, lovely lever. Of course, my crafting table, you can see the slimes that are in there. I have my furnace. Uh, this chest doesn't really have anything in it. I don't think this one does either. Just mainly some mining materials and whatever. Okay, this is an ender chest. This is a pretty interesting uh, deal here. We have a whole bunch of things in here. What's actually going on is there are a whole bunch of these ender chests throughout the server. Uh, basically, everyone has one at their house. 
And if I wanted to like give Moosh this uh, this slime item, I could put I could put it in the chest, and then Moosh would be able to open an identical Ender chest and take the slime out of it and put it in his inventory. So we can more or less use it as a transportation system. I actually think that's pretty cool. Of course, we have our bed, so my spawn is in here. So I just kind of leave my door open as I leave, or I can I can really like trick it out here. I can I can smash the lever here if I want and leave and be on my merry way, but. I don't know, I guess we'll leave it open. Nah, I'll show you the trick, why not? Basically guarantees that I have to either get to the end or die to get back, so there we go. We are now locked out of our own room. Fantastic. Something to note is that uh, there are no... There's no mob griefing in this particular server. So yes, um, the creepers won't be blowing crap up. Alright, so anyway, continuing on in the ice palace, we come up here. Uh, I have this little small area down here for you to fight the slimes. So if you climb on down, you can give the slimes a battle. I guess we'll we'll see if we can fight them with the ice rod. They can climb the ladder. They're pretty they're pretty uh, funny, but the the bigger the bigger ones usually get stuck, so they're not really going to come up to get me. Uh, this room is more or less a trap room. You can't really accomplish anything. You can kill the slimes and get some stuff, but that's about it. Uh, then I have a treasure chest over here, which I don't know what I would have in it if I'm thinking about this as a Zelda dungeon. Maybe just some prizes or whatever. Nothing too big. Then, of course, there's the ladder for you to climb out of. Actually, my first idea was to give you the bonus prize and give you the pieces of the ladder so you'd have to piece together the ladder yourself. But that way you can't escape until you've killed all the slimes, but I don't know. It's kind of neat. Also, this ice, uh, you'll notice the mod name is called Chisel, on my little overhead thing there. Uh, this is a very great mod. I could basically use this Chisel item, which we will do so. Uh, let's see, if I use the Chisel and I put this ice block here, look at all the different designs I can use, dude. And look, one's even called the Ice Zelda block. So I really love this mod. This is a great mod. I can just take it out, too. I can even, uh, so like the one I'm using is the Sunken Ice Tiles. I can even revert it to looking back like regular ice. I don't think every... Um, Every kind of block you can revert back, though. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It allowed me to build this awesome-looking palace. All right. Uh, so if you come up here, then it's rather short. I don't know. I would I would intend if this was like an adventure craft mod or something, which I did try installing once and it didn't work. So I I don't know. I'm just messing around with Evan and them in this server, pretending that I have an adventure mod. I suppose I don't know. All right. Now this treasure chest is a strong box, which only the owner can open. I basically just put it up here to be uh, symmetrical with that one over there. But yeah, so I just have some extra stuff stored in here, including this iron chest, which I don't know where I want to put it yet. Uh, but yes, and here's the item we call the Vietnam Dust. It's actually, it can make these magic walls, which are pretty, pretty cool-looking versions of uh, glass, I guess they are. The copper chest here is what I would intend to be like the, the big key or the boss key, if you're familiar with Zelda. So you get you can get the big key pretty early by just kind of jumping up here, and I don't know if I would have a battle up here or what, but yes. But then you might think, well, geez, there's nowhere else to really go. It looks like there's a hole inside, though. Well, there is. If I come over here, if I look really carefully, I can kind of see there is a handle over here. This is a carpenter's door. What happens is I can actually use a special hammer item to make these doors completely blend in with the block design that I want. So in this particular case, I gave it an ice block design of the same type. So it's a little harder to tell that the door is here. All right, so now we're inside the ice palace itself. Fantastic. First, we will traverse down here in the ice palace. I guess in these areas, I would intend to have like some enemies you fight or something. I don't know. And here we come over to the main, to the main uh, operation here. This is where I keep my current machinery. Uh, first of all, Evan gave me a, a Tesseract to help me power this thing. I'm basically mooching off of Evan's power source, but I think it works out quite well uh, because he's creating too much power anyway, so I might as well help him out with using it. Here's an energetic infuser, which I'm going to use to refill my jetpack fuel. This is actually pretty cool. I can also hold it down to see, hey, look, it's actually charging up, and we can just leave it alone. Uh, this has a chunk loader. I don't know if... I don't know if I should even be explaining these things. If you're watching a Feed the Beast mod, you probably know what most of these things do, but it's all relatively new to me, so if it's new to someone else on the channel, there we go. This chunk loader will basically keep this chunk loaded at all times, so if I have these machines running and doing something, even if I go away and nobody's logged onto the server, this chunk will be loaded and working constantly. Uh, so, for example, my jetpack would be 
uh, finished off even if I'm offline or whatever. And now we're good to go. See on the top left, we've got 100% energy left. This chest has a whole bunch of ice and snow in it. It is coming from this glacial precipitator from the thermal expansion mod we're using, as well as this aqueous accumulator. Uh, what I have it set to now is to create four snowballs. So I will turn my lever on. It will start slowly draining water, however I have an infinite water supply so this won't run out and every time uh, it finishes this process it will create four snowballs. However, I have the machine set up to input them into this chest so if we just stay here for a while, look, I can look at the snowballs, more of them should appear soon, there they are, and if I put them in my inventory, you notice they disappear, this is because my ice rod is going to gobble them up immediately and I can use them to recharge the item. So I basically have a pseudo infinite supply of snowballs from my ice rod here. It's quite nice. Alright, so I can leave that running for a while if I want. It's just another crafting table because I got too lazy. I didn't, I wanted to, I used to just go all the way around and back into my room to craft things and then I got annoyed with that so here's my lazy solution is just a new crafting table in this particular room. I took my job, yeah, okay. Here's an anvil which doesn't work the way I thought it did so it's pretty much just going to sit here now. Seems a little silly the way I have to repair items, but oh well. Okay, we will finish filling up our ice rod. Take a few extra snowballs with us, and we'll shut the machine off for now, just so I don't come back to horribleness. But yes. Okay. So that's just kind of a small tour of the downstairs area, and then you would actually come up here to continue onward. I was bad and did not close the door. Oh, the door's closed, and now it's open. I really like this area. It's just kind of an overhang bridge area of the slimes from earlier. So that's kind of nice to come through this narrow corridor. Have a wooden door we can open. Get a small view of the outside. Get a small view of the machine area. And that's looking like that's about it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hidden door. Oh, man. This one blends in perfectly. You can't even tell it's a, a carpenter's door unless you, like, look up and happen to see that it says carpenter's door. But yeah. Okay. So now we come to this door. I guess I don't know if I would want this to be like the big key area or some kind of key card check or something, but yeah, anyway. Alright. So it doesn't look like there's anything here, but you can kind of see the light down there. So there's actually something here. Oh, I didn't remember that was there. Anyway, we can pop out of the water here. Now we're actually under the island. Under the island, and I love this part. So we start walking around and stuff. And drop down eventually. I tried to make sure you couldn't, like, fall through that easily at this particular part. There are some navigational parts you'll have to do later on, but... Yeah, you can kind of see there's a whole bunch of random kind of ice blocks lying around, so it might look a little suspicious, and there's a path leading this way. Oh, this would be the, the big key door, that's right, because I slightly designed this door differently. I don't have the hammer in my inventory, actually, do I? No, the hammer's elsewhere, okay. Well, that's fine, so you would use the key, come through here, and make it to the next part of the dungeon. Awesome. Hello? Door? Oh, the door was rubber banding. Okay, that's okay. Alright. So now that we're in here, look, you can kind of see that we're, we're really under the island. You can see the landmarks down there and everything. Now we can drop safely. I had to put this ice stairs in, otherwise you would actually take damage on this fall. It's a little too far. And I don't know if I actually want to wait until morning to do this next part. I might just do that. Let me wait until morning to come back so you can see the true beauty of this upcoming zone. Alright, we're back, and we've got some more hunger at Taboot. Okay, so it's daytime now, you can see this area a bit better. The problem is I can't really light it because it's made of ice, so my ice would all melt. So I don't know, we've been looking for a, a light source that doesn't melt. We're still not sure if one exists at this current point. Maybe we will by the time I upload it, but yeah. Anyway, this is the unfinished part of the dungeon now, but I'm going to mostly try and explain what I want to go on down here. Okay, so this will be a small room that actually kind of... It'll, it should go further into the dungeon later on, like I'll have more rooms down there and everything. But for now, we can walk over this way to my favorite part of the dungeon. Now, the reason why this is my favorite part of the dungeon is because notice if I kind of move back and forth, you can see more water revealed and stuff, but ice is transparent. You can see through the ice clearly. For some reason, you can't see water through ice. So when you come out to this area, you're actually greeted to a whole bunch of uh, waterfalls that you might not have known were there. In fact, if we come up here, we reach the Ice Sanctuary. My little kind of private alcove here below this island uh, that I really can't wait to... I can't wait to decide what I want to put down here because this is going to be a fun-looking area whenever I can finish it outright. 
So this is my little ice sanctuary hidden inside. Oh, the whole island is surrounded by this water, so if you're outside the island, you can't even tell it's there. Look, it doesn't look like there's anything here at all. But as soon as you go inside, then you can see the ice sanctuary. So yeah, I really love this idea. And it really makes me wish that I could, like, uh, program 3D games or something, because this I think this would be a blast uh, of an area to have designed for a game or something. But yeah, so this is the ice sanctuary. Uh, well, the one thing you can do when you're up here is you can come up to these stairs. Uh, I may put an item up here, something like a small treasure chest. However, it's a, it's a bait and switch because you're meant to actually see that there are platforms down there. So I could actually take this waterfall and ride it a bit down. Now we end up on these platforms here, and suddenly you have like this this other bridge that's just in between all this water, and there would be a secret uh, treasure chest here with like maybe a key or something in it. So you would have to kind of do a bit of exploring to finish everything. And then I don't know what I would want to do for this hint. Maybe like a sign that uh oh, okay, maybe like a sign that points to the right or something. Because you could climb back up through the waterfall, or you could come to the right here and actually. Again, you can't see ice through water and vice versa, so you wouldn't know this is here maybe if you walked through the if you didn't walk through the water. So there's actually a path going back here. But it's a little hard to navigate because of the water pushing and pulling you in the different directions. But eventually if you make your way over, and if the game can decide whether it wants to run at 30 or 60 FPS, we can slide through into this into this area, which is actually just the back area we were we were at before. What I'm actually going to do is I'm eventually going to either close this up or make a, a switch or something you have to hit to open it as a shortcut. I actually don't intend for you to be able to just walk back and forth like this right at the beginning. But yeah, so then we'll come out here. I'll maybe put an, an item out here or something or another switch or something. This particular alcove is mostly just so you can have a little bit more of a guarantee that you can slide through and stuff. So yeah, I like I kind of like this area. Oh man, it was really annoying to design though, because Evan just dumped all this water everywhere, and I couldn't get rid of it all. Even some of it doesn't even have source blocks, and I just had to. It was a nightmare trying to work around it. So yeah, anyway, all right. So you'll get whatever item you get from over there, and then you'll come back up here. It would be uh, awesome if you could like have ice bats or something. I don't know if there are ice bats in this game, but or in these mods, but yeah. Here's a nifty little jump that's actually kind of annoying to make. I think someone got so annoyed that they broke a block and made it and made it easier, but uh, you're supposed to jump from one block to another there. I've actually failed this quite a few times myself, so I actually added an easier way to do it, which is just that block to the to the uh, left there. And if you fall, you might think, oh dang, that's kind of mean, Team UDF, you're screwed. But no, actually, if you're able to navigate these falls correctly, you can see there's actually way back up over here. Just a little hard to get at, maybe, because of how the water's pushing you. But you can actually get back up here. So I don't intend to be like, you have to drop all the way back down and climb all the way back up to try again. No, you can actually salvage this here and come right back here. So if the hard jump's a little too much for you, which it seems to be for me right now, even with the, the easier way, cool. Good to know I'm, I'm doing really well at my own challenge here. There we go. You can just jump right over that middle block, which is kind of meant to swindle you. And come into this area here, which again, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on. In fact, it might look like you have to drop down there. And I do believe that's where I want to put the next segment of the dungeon, is I want to, I do want to drop you down there. And if you drop with like a, a key that you're supposed to have, and maybe you don't have it, uh, that's when you're able to use the falls to climb back up here and maybe look for something, because... Hidden door! Hidden door. Made out of the, the blue slime dirt here. And then right here I'll have like a treasure chest with the key in it or something as you can kind of gawk at the waterfalls themselves for some scenery. And that's about it. That's all I have for now of this, this nifty little ice sanctuary area. I'm really looking forward to finishing it. Look at all this open space I have here. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So that's something I may want to work on uh, while I'm recording this or something. If I don't then I'll definitely be recording my next dungeon ventures because I do have a bunch of temples and things that I want to build. So at the very least, we'll be building some stuff and going on some adventures in the various modded areas. There are also some things that I have not started at all, like Ars Magica 2. I have not started in this particular server at all. I had a much easier time starting it on the previous server because I could actually find Liquid Essence. However, 
Look what essence seems to be a, a thing of the past on this server, so I don't know where it is. I'm also thinking about getting into Thalmcraft. I've been told that if I want to tip my fedora really, really hard, I should get into Thalmcraft. So there's a whole bunch of different things to go on here. And of course, uh, with my good buddy Zeno here, this just has a whole bunch of really cool items. And like, look, my, my ice rod, my cloak, and my chalice are all from Zeno's uh, rel uh, relo reliqui reliquary. I don't know why I can't say that really quickly, but in any case, yes. And there's some other neat mods going on around here, so we shall have some fun. Oh, this thing's really cool, too. It it actually breaks blocks in a 3x3 three three basis and auto-smelts them, so if I, like, run into some iron blocks or something, it'll smelt them for me and I get the iron ore right away. So there's just a whole bunch of cool stuff going on here. I don't know really where I want to take this series, but, it, again, if I don't have anything specific to do, I'll just be using it as, like, a fancy podcast or something. I don't know. So hopefully you guys will maybe enjoy yourselves a little bit. We can maybe build some cool things. Again, I don't really know if I'll ever be able to distribute them publicly because of the way we have this set up is we're not just using Feed the Beast by itself. We're, we're using like a, a modified version of it for our particular needs on this server. So I really don't know. I've got no clue if I can even, you know, if this is all just a giant waste of time that, I've, that I'm even building in this server in the first place. I guess we've lost servers in the past, so it would be a huge, a huge disappointment if we lost this server and I didn't have my ice sanctuary anymore. But yes. Alright, so that's about it. I've already gone over time. Uh, welcome to the new series, I guess, of Minecraft. We'll actually maybe do some Minecraft next time. How about that? But I did want to just show off some things. Actually, maybe I'll go around in the next episode or two and show you some other uh, stuff that my, my pals in the server have made here. Because, of course... We will be hanging around in the server for now. If I have to go to a single player server, I might, I don't know, I might cheat in some stuff that I've already done or something. Maybe the, uh, I don't know. But, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time for more Minecraft. Maybe some Ice Sanctuary. Or maybe we'll go see what that is over there and we'll go see some other stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy, did I mention that I, I'm thanking you for watching? I don't think I have. I don't think you get the po Okay, see you later, boy.